Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Space Hippies, where we try to get a normal survival world going without using any nuclear reactors. Now, last time I uh, built a little expansion to my station here, to the back. I added a connector off screen because I want that to connect to a ship which we're going to build today. Now, we are going to be have to be smart about this because we're going to have to get power to the ship somehow. But first things first, we need to build a ship. Okay, so um, what we're going to build is a drill ship. Uh, I've decided to build a drill ship with... Uh, I think I'm going to put 10 drills on there. That might be a bit excessive, but uh, I don't want to get back in, in and have to do it again. So I'm going to gather, uh, gather some first resources here and get everything started. Um, I did uh, prepare a load, a load of resources off screen. So we should be able uh, to construct this ship without having to produce more. But if we do, I uh, do have enough resources to do so. Um, would we need anything else? I don't think so. Otherwise we can just uh, come back here. Anyway, um, we don't have a designated spot to build ships in yet, so we're just going to have to settle for this uh, spot here. Build a new small ship, yes. Oh, that's not the right button. Closer, closer, oh. No, no, I would very much like my ship to be pointed in this direction. Mm. No, listen to me, yep, it will have to do. Okay. Now I think this would be I would be able to weld this right now. No last shield tube and a motor. Want this to be attached properly to the station so that I can build in uh, somewhat peace. Large steel tube. Uh, let's pack it, take a few. Uh, don't need those yet. Those come later. Few motors, definitely going to need those later on, but uh, for now we can uh, set off this. Okay, now I'm going for uh, this many drills because, uh, well, this would be quick and I like quick when building stuff. As for the color, I'll figure this out later. I'm not really uh, going to do this now. But uh, I'm going to raise this up a bit so we have something to build on. Probably going to forget that I... Uh, yeah, that this, this this is attached and then later on accidentally delete something important and that it then free floating. I'm going to have to be quick about getting it back together again, but oh well. Um, but uh, back to the important part of this. I've been... Uh, yeah, I've been mining so far, just gathering stuff uh, just with my random old drill. Which, which works fine, but uh, yeah, there's the small amount of stuff that then floats around and it takes a bit of time and you have to construct these weird little little um, mines, so to say. Oh, well, and you know what, I'll show one of these mines later on if I feel like stuff is getting a bit too, uh, too tedious, but for the time we're going to um, get the start going. Not really sure how I'm uh, going to do this precisely. What do I need for this? Interior plate. That's a strange thing to need for a cockpit that's going basically on the outside of a ship. I feel like, but you know, not going to argue. Interior plate. That's not a lot of interior plate. I need to have more of this. Yeah, su sure do. Take some more. When I'm building something like this, I like to uh, get as much as possible of it just built already before I actually... Um, start uh, welding it. Okay. Now I do actually want to be able to look outside of my window. I'm a bit uh, strange like this. But uh, yeah, in theory you could just wall up the front of this and attach all the drills. I'm not going to do this though. So you're going to have to suffer through me uh, doing this uh, like so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm looking for is a small cargo connector, oh, yeah, conveyor, that's that's the word. And we're going to place one. This is a big one, I don't need the big one. Hold on. Not big one, small conveyor. 
perhaps I should just select the small conveyor then, this would uh, make things easier. One on this end, and one on this end, exactly. How much stuff does this take? I think I can weld this right now, let's just do this. There we go, not enough motors. I'll grab a bunch of motors as well, we're going to build more of these conveyors anyway, so I see no reason not to. Yes, still got some room to take them with us anyway, so... Ah, 20 motors, that's a nice start. I believe I'm actually going to need small steel tubes later as well for the um, small conveyor tubes, but we'll see. How far do I get with this actually? Ah, quite far. But we'll finish it later, as I mentioned. Now, also I, I, I will change the color at one point. This is of course still the color of the internal uh, stuff of this uh, the station, but uh, this will change. There we go. Three up. Three up on the other one as well. Two, three. And on the bottom. One, two, three. Yes. And here as well. One, two, three. Now I want this um, this drill to be able to drill straight through an asteroid. Now you can do this quite small. I, I, I think if you really squeeze things you should be able to do it with uh, no more than three drills. But as I mentioned I want a bit of capacity out of this. So um, I'm going to do it differently. Okay, conveyor here, conveyor there. Okay, nice. Now first I'm going to design how this, uh, the, the top of this would look. So, um, the front of it I should say. So how this, um, the front of the drill will actually look like. Hmm. Do I like the placement of this? Yeah, I think I do. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. If it doesn't work, this uh, this draw will be a bit silly. But uh, yeah, wouldn't be the first silly silly thing I build. So uh, I uh, considered building these uh, or designing these things off screen and then building them on screen. But I kind of like um, doing these things as I go. So uh, this this would normally be how you do things in survival, I find. So. Um, it would be a bit more representative of what I would do on my own and what you guys would do on your own when you're uh, just just playing at home. Okay, and one here. I'm going to have to consider later where I'm going to build uh, my uh, small thrusters and my uh, ore detectors and stuff like this, but uh, that's for later. For now, we're going just placing the drills. And they'll immediately also be connected up, which makes things a lot easier. And there we go. Now, the drills. Let's grab them. Here we go. Not like that. That would be a bit strange. Um, I think uh, like this would make, uh, make a great deal more sense. Mm, yep, yeah, there we go. There we go, and there, there, oh, 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 there. Now I'm going to tip them 90 degrees. That way the um, the sides of the drill that uh, are sticking out are not sticking towards the wall of the cave. I have discovered, I don't know how true this is, but this is a feeling I get when I'm... Uh, drilling with uh, all the drill ships I built, that if they point outwards they get damaged more easily. But again, as I mentioned, this is just a hunch. I have no idea if this is actually accurate, so... There we go, that's how the front of the drill is going to look. I like how this, uh, this is turning out so far, so let's continue on. Now one thing you always need to consider when you're doing, or should consider when... Well, once more. If you uh, want... I'm, I'm not having a great deal of luck here, am I? Okay, okay. One thing to consider if you're building something like this in uh, such a fashion is that you're still able to reach the stuff you've actually built. 
so um, that you will be able to weld it later I mean with this so if I now place down stuff I need to keep in mind that I'm going to have to weld everything together later okay how big is this bugger is, is this like four tall why would you ever want something uh, no is this asymmetrical now or will we be able to deal with this okay now this works I think it will I was a bit worried there that it might be a even number of blocks this this large car container that would have foiled my plans computers in this place weld a few things up here may as well oh what do you know these don't actually take motors A large drill like this um, will need a fair few uh, thrusters to keep it stable and then not bump into walls a bit too much. I feel like about four should do it. I feel like, I think. So four in each direction and then uh, I'm going to add a big thruster at the back. Um, four thrust is important if you're uh, keen on making your, uh, your drill fast. So the faster or the bigger your um, your forward thrust, the more likely you are that you're able to um, go, or you'll be able to go through the the planet a great deal quicker. Planet asteroid a great deal quicker. Okay, we needed more interior plates. Did I take all of them? I couldn't have, right? Okay, uh, I definitely need more interior plates. So let's produce a few. Luckily, we uh, now have um, three um, assemblers working together, so this is quite quick. We also needed displays, yes, and we needed um, computers, right. Okay, and now let's take the remaining interior plates. Come, come, come. Listen to me. There we go. Some more motors. There we go. This should, uh, should be wor fine for us, at least for the time being. Okay, there we go. I think this would be a spectacular spot to place a connector, don't you? I feel like it would be. Anyway, let's continue welding here. Bulletproof glass. Let's not forget to take this later. I'm going to, I guarantee you. Once I'm all said and done with most of this stuff, I think I'm actually going to uh, do another time lapse. I'm really enjoying these time lapses, so I'm going to do more of them. The reason I'm not doing this in pa as part of the time uh, lapse is because I'm afraid I won't be able to get to them later, and this would of course be a problem. So, one thing I have not really considered yet, or I I I do I do know how I want to do this, but um, I'm going to have to add a solar panel to the ship for a bit to charge up the battery, so that then I can fly it towards my uh, my connector here, connect it up to the ship, and then power up or charge up the battery with the station. This should be possible. Um, if not, then this entire concept of space hippies just got a great deal more difficult than I thought it was. But it, it should work, it should work. Okay, now let's grab our small conveyor right there at the corner. Mm -mm. Do we want to run this? I, I think it would be a nice visual if you're in the cockpit that you can see this tube running alongside. So that would be home. Sure is. We're going to need one there as well. Very good. And then seven. Excellent. Insert here. There's no other game where placing stuff requires you pushing delete this many times. Make of that whatever you wish. Okay, I'm going to do this with corners, I think. I think it would be better. Six. Okay. And then page up. There we go. Here as well. There. 
now just the inside corner. I think I'm just going to show you one side of this and then I'm going to do the other side off screen. Or I'm just going to include it in the in the time lapse. Maybe that's an idea. We'll have to see what I uh, what I eventually decide to do. So need to consider where I'm going to place my. Uh, can I attach blocks to this? Hold on, let me check. I'm going to have to consider where I'm going to place my uh, my outer blocks. Yeah, okay, I can attach these blocks to the to the cargo container. Okay, that makes life a great deal easier. Awesome. Okay, so I think we have room for four thrusters here. Maybe even eight. That would even be better, I feel like. So, four thrusters on top, four thrusters on bottom. Or just four thrusters. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out later. First, let's um, let's place the battery on, on the bottom. This is not an entirely useless uh, piece of this, uh, this ship. So, let's get it on there. Battery, battery. Oh, where are you, battery? I think it's further to the top right. Per perhaps I should do this in a more uh, more useful way. Yeah, there we go. That was quick. Mentioned this last time, didn't I? That uh, I wanted to do this more often. Here, we, here you go. I did it. Proud of myself. Okay. That's not what I want. Okay. Yeah, there. I want it. I could add a second one if I wanted to underneath here. I think I might do that later, but first let's uh, let's get this uh, rolling. Metal grid and power cells. Okay, 20 power cells, two metal grids. Don't need more. Metal cell of um, metal grids and power cells. And I believe, was it 20? I think so. We're going to gamble. Don't have room. Energy and energy is low. Hmm, perhaps I should then... Do I have room? Yeah, I sure have. How much is energy? Oh yeah. That was very little, wasn't it? Okay. I might uh, show you the, the mines I've been using so far. It might be a useful thing for people who are just starting the game to see this. Come on, energy. You can see the power usage is currently astronomically high. That is because it's trying to charge those six batteries that are currently in there. They have already come a fair bit. I think they're halfway through. Uh, during my off-screen work, they were, of course, uh, being charged. And th this being the large battery uh, pack, they, uh, yeah, they take a lot of power. So we're just going to have to... Um, wait for a while or i'm going to have to wait for a while you won't actually see this happen yeah i actually estimate or uh, remember this correctly 20 power cells my brain has not entirely gone numb yet excellent i think i'm immediately going to add the power cell or the solar uh, solar panel that way i'm building up power and i don't have to worry uh, too much about stuff uh, page up there we go this is of course temporary i'm going to remove this uh, solar cell Okay, two metal grids, one tube, 16 cells. Okay. Two metal grids. One tube, and I think it was 16, right? 16 cells. I think that's accurate. I'm going to find out. There. No idea how much power these generate. I think I, I think it's actually quite funny that these are the same size as these uh, large power cells, but they don't take as much resources, but they do actually generate less power. At least I would imagine they do le uh, generate less power. There we go. Power is being generated. Excellent. Okay. Hey, this is interesting. Did I place this wrong? Okay, it looks like we're we only going to have this tube connected on one end. Ha! Huh. Perhaps I should have paid a bit more attention when placing this thing. Oh well, now we're going to have to live with it. Yeah, it should be okay. I never actually... Uh, this will actually be covered in some uh, some steel plates. Or steel plates, steel blocks. 
I don't actually see this breaking anytime soon, so we should be fine. Okay, well then, um, let us move on. Now we can actually get an idea of how, how the ship would look like. So imagine a bit. Okay, I think I know where I want to place my thrusters. As I mentioned, I want at least four, probably a bit more if I can uh, squeeze them in there. Now where would these be? Weapons and tools? No, no. Conveyor cargo cockpit? No. no. I'm just going to do it with all marks. There we go. There it is. There. And there. Okay. Seven. Large steel tube. Well then let's get a few, shall we? Uh, all the way around. Okay. You know what? Um, Let's do this with a time lapse, shall we? Me working on this. I think this would be a nice, uh, a nice way to do a time lapse. My last ones were a bit short, so uh, perhaps this will be a nice uh, change of pace for everybody. So uh, enjoy the time lapse. Welcome back! I'm going to give you a little update here. Um, I was going to do it earlier, but I noticed my mic is muted, so I'm just going to uh, include that in the sped up footage. You won't notice a thing. But um, yeah, for now I decided to go with uh, six thrusters going up, six thrusters going down. There's two gyroscopes in there, and uh, of course the solar panel is here as well. So I am not sure how much I'm going to include of the other footage. Ah, oh, you need more detector components. We'll do this later. Um, all blocks. You know what? L l let's do this from heavy armor. Let's do something wild here. Okay. We are going to have some empty room in the inside of this thing. I'm fine with this. Don't actually need every square inch of this thing to be uh, in use, so to say. Okay. Now let's add this here. This is always a bit of a creative process for me. Um, I slowly but steadily make up my plan on how I want this ship to look. One block at a time. Mm. Like this? Yeah, definitely like this. There we go. Like so. You don't have to stick too much to symmetry. Usually, uh, symmetry can be a great tool. I mean, definitely this, this ship is for a degree uh, symmetrical, at least from the outside. When I'm all said and done, it should be uh, more or less symmetrical. But um, it can also be a bit of a burden if you, you 
use it a bit too much, so to say. It can make a ship boring, and uh, you don't want a boring ship, uh, obviously. So, um, when you uh, see an opportunity, or when I see an opportunity to make a ship asymmetrical, and I think it will look good, I generally leap at the opportunity. Um, now, I of course want this thing to look a bit industrial and uh, more uh, to the point, rather than uh, fancy and stuff like this. But that's that's also a bit the vibe I've been going for with the series so far. So uh, I guess this would make sense. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, enclosing these thrusters is actually a nice thing to do, or an important thing to do. I kind of feel like. Um, because uh, if you destroy those, you're in a world of hurt, basically. You're not supposed to be there. And I removed my uh, grinder again from my toolbar. Not a good idea. There we go. Did I not remove anything here? No, I didn't. Okay, excellent. Mm, yeah. Okay. Now, where are these thrusters? They're right here. Okay. So I can now angle this, nice to know. But first let's mirror this on the other end. Um, and anyway, this is uh, so far how I've done things. Five thrusters on each side, six on the bottom, six on the top, as I mentioned earlier. I've put uh, five thrusters in front, I think this should be enough. And one big thruster towards uh, at the back, this should be plenty. I've also added two lights, and there was an ore detector in here. I should have, did I finish this? I sure didn't. Okay, that's something I need to do then. But uh, I'm going to do the next uh, time lapse now, so uh, I'll see you afterwards. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody. Now, it's the big time to connect this thing up to our station. Let us zoom in a bit. Hello. I uh, did get hit, unfortunately, by one of my drills. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to fix this later. Oh boy. How much time do we have left? Ship fuel low. Three, three, ah. Let's see how we're doing. Ship fuel low. Ship fuel low. Uh, we're going to make it. Okay, we've started to lower behind this. Okay, uh, see how we're doing here. Slowly but steadily. Yeah, I know we're low on energy. And we're attached. Oh my, we did it. We did it, guys. Now the battery here. Um, recharge. It should be able to recharge. Yes, it's recharging off of the solar panels of the station. So here we go. Um, time to do the final touches to the ship. Let me show you. Let's remove this hideous thing here. We don't need it anymore. Now before this uh, episode is over, I am going to show you how this thing in operation, of course. It would be a bit strange if I didn't. Now, uh, looks-wise, it's a bit a bit crude, but then again, it's supposed to be an industrial machine, so it's not uh, supposed to be look very refined. And I kind of like the blocky way it looks. Now, um, yeah, it's charging up, of course, so uh, let us uh, dump away the stuff we have on our uh, on ourselves. I might off-screen just add a bit of. Um, at a medical medical room somewhere that I can uh, at least get this annoying warning out of my face. But uh, yeah, I am going to build a proper medical bay in my station at one point, but uh, and not 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 quite yet. So okay, this is recharging now. So um, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys again in uh, a bit when this uh, thing is fully charged. I am going to do a bit of a fly around now. So you can see what it looks like. Yeah, like so. Battery's recharging, of course. This will take at least 15 minutes. So, yeah, I'm not going to let you sit through all this. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, once this uh, battery is a bit recharged. Then we'll do some actual mining. Welcome back, everybody. And the battery is charged. You can see here. Maximum stored power. Stored power. So it's time to give this baby a spin. Now if it cannot tunnel through an asteroid, it's useless to us. So here goes a big test. Oh, oh button. There we go. Let's change the view. Nah, let's change it again. It can work, but uh, I'm not going to do it like so. We can keep it 15 uh, or oh, 50 minutes running for 15 minutes. That's that's what I uh, wanted to say there. 50 minutes. So, at, in theory, we should be able to get it uh, at least 30 minutes of mining. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to have to mine some of this evil uranium. Oh, let us put the drills. Uh, all blocks. Oh no. There we go. Let's put it on the one. Excellent. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, the lag is real. Okay, not really seeing uh, seeing much here. Hold on, let me see what we've done here. For me, the frame uh, the the frame is freezed. So, right? Okay, here we go. It's updated.
This is problematic. Okay, you know what? I'm going to uh, leave this run a bit uh, off screen. I think it's actually the recording software giving me problems here. So uh, I'm going to drill through this asteroid and I'm going to bring you guys back when I'm done. And you can see how far I've gotten. And we're back. So let's see what the damage is, shall we? Now I can already see that uh, we took a little damage. Uh, we probably bumped into the side of the, the rock face. It was really, really laggy. So I think that might actually have something to do with it. You can still see uh, already on the bottom here, we've got plenty of power left and uh, we drilled st straight through the asteroid. Uh, I'm going to fly through this later, but uh, first let's see what we've gathered here. Okay, here's the battery power left. So we barely used any of the power, which is of course nice. Okay, um, yes, inventory. So we got 7,000 stone, 40,000 iron, a bit of uranium, which we're not going to use because we don't have any use for it. Some magnesium and some nickel. So in all in all, I'm very happy with this, uh, this craft. I might not necessarily use it to mine straight through asteroids because um, yeah, as you can see it uh, together with my lag causes a fair bit of damage. So I'm not going to do this a lot in the, in the future, but for the time being, uh, for, for demonstration purposes, this was nice. Okay, there we go. It flies rather well as well uh, too, so I'm I'm quite happy with this. Do need to repair the ship though. But uh, all in all, you've seen how it operates now. Um, it works really well. Maybe I should uh, should place these uh, thrusters that are now on top uh, further down. They m might be a bit exposed on this uh, side here. As you can see, it got smacked. But um, yeah, all in all, it uh, operates really well. It's really fast as well. It went straight through the asteroid in no time. I mean, uh, I think uh, it took three minutes maybe to get all the way through. So. You know what, I'll just leave it out here, it's got plenty of uh, battery power and I'll just fly through this uh, this hole we've created. There it is. Might as well collect some of this uh, free floating uh, rubble that is currently in this uh, hole here. Yep, there we go. Who knows, maybe we can find some destroyed plates and we'll know exactly where our uh, stuff uh, got destroyed. Ah, I'm not going to bother it's gathering this stuff. So you can see it's a rather impressive hole we've dug here. Rather happy about it. So yeah, is that by any chance bent metal? Yes, health is low. I smacked myself into the drills uh, when I was building the thing. So off screen I'm going to uh, um, add a health uh, center, or what is it called? Medical bay, that's right. Just uh, somewhere random and uh, heal myself. Uh, we are going to build a proper sick bay, is what I was going to say. Uh, I already mentioned this, but um, yeah. For now, uh, we're going to have to settle uh, with a small emergency medical bay. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. I'll uh, have this uh, dent here properly repaired and... Uh, hook this thing back up to the power. So uh, until then, um, have a nice time and uh, I'll see you then.